folks I never met before? No, she said she's having fun. Oh, Nick, this is not looking good. You guys haven't found anything that can stop this? This is a unique, like, once in a lifetime, doesn't ever seem to have happened before kind of event conundrum. We haven't found anything that works, and we've looked through everything. We're not giving up. It's just, I mean, we have no idea where to go from here. Except Adeline. She might be the only one that knows something about this. No. If I see her again... I really doubt she'd do anything to help Juliet anyway. Juliet is paying the price for us taking Adeline's child. Damaroff is no longer in our employ. Sean and I came to an understanding. I made it very clear that any more interference on your son's part would be his last. Who are you talking to? The king. You have something you'd like to say to him? No, sir. Sean is well aware this comes from you. Thank you. Is the king gonna kill Sean? Considering he's the father of one of your children, does that upset you? Does anyone actually care what I think? No, but I do have some information you might find interesting. I just found out your little hex and beast chum, Juliet, has gotten herself arrested. She's in jail? She throttled a couple of people at a bar. Apparently, they didn't have it coming. If that happened, that means she's starting to accept becoming a hex and beast. And things are going to get worse before they get really bad. Including her desire to kill you? Yes. Then this could be the opportunity we've been waiting for. I'm sorry, but I don't see an opportunity anywhere near her. Juliet knows just about everything about Mr. Burkhart, about his mother, and therefore, about where the child, your child, might be. Okay, she may have beat up a couple people in a bar. I mean, God knows we've all done that. But there is no way she's going to betray Nick, if that's where you're going. It's surprising how quickly betrayal becomes a viable option, given the right circumstances. Which right circumstances? By the way, have you made up your mind about who the father of... That one is. Don't strain yourself. I know it's Mr. Burkhart. What? Appropriate indignation. But the real question is, what will Juliet do when she finds out that you and Nick are having a love child? You wouldn't. Given the right circumstances. I'm the mother of the child you want. It's surprising how quickly betrayal becomes a viable option. Cheerio. Pleasure to meet you. You too. I seem to have the touch. Ow! I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Time to go. Where? Bail's been paid. By whom? Not my job. Juliet, my name's Kenneth. We've never met. You bailed me out. Why? We have something in common. Am I supposed to ask what? You're not curious? No. He can't be much of a boyfriend if he left you to rot in jail. Seems like we both have good reason to be upset. The Grim. What do you want? What we've always wanted. Adeline's child. No surprise there, I suppose. You're one of the royals. Yes. The one who's going to get the child back. Well, I don't know where she is. I believe that you don't, but I also believe that you could. Sorry you wasted your bail money. My God. You're still loyal to the Grim, even after what he's done to you. You know, I admire loyalty when it's deserved, but this border's on tragic. You know, it might be more tragic for a royal to die in Portland. For me, yes, of course. <laughs> But I thought for sure you'd be interested to know that Adeline's pregnant again. And that is a surprise why. Think about it. Nick assumed he was sleeping with you, so you can't really blame him for cheating with Adeline. Still, you have to appreciate the irony. She's having what should have been your baby with your boyfriend. No, you're wrong. 
I'm not. And the sooner you decide to help me get what I want, the sooner I can make your life a lot better. When you're ready, I'll be at the Hotel Deluxe. Otherwise, I'll see if I can get you an invite to the baby shower. I have to talk to Nick. In my humble opinion, you should get the hell out of here before Nick sees you. I have something to tell him. And what makes you think Nick is interested in anything you might have to say? It's not mine. Of course it's not yours. Don't you think I know who I've slept with? Yeah, well, who haven't you slept with? Let's start there. I know who the father is. It happened when he thought he was sleeping with Juliet. What? The child is Nick's. I haven't been with anybody else. So where the hell is he? Hey, Nick, can I see my office, please? Is there a problem? What the hell is she doing here? Ask her. I'm not asking her anything. I'm done with her. She ruined Juliet's life. I didn't know that would happen. Wait, Nick. What? Again? That's not mine. It's yours. Are you crazy? That's impossible. Impossible? Don't I wish. Remember that wild afternoon with Juliet before Monroe and Rosalie's wedding? This is not something that I wanted either. I'm pregnant, Nick. Look, I had no idea, believe me. It's unless like she's making it up either. I've already had one child taken from me. I'm not losing another. You and he wouldn't protect his child last time. I did what I thought was best for Diana. Yeah, well, it's a room full of heroes. Well, now I need one. I need you, Nick. What do you want from me? I need you to protect me from Juliet. So nobody else will. Why the hell would I do that? I'm not expecting you to do this for me. I was hoping that you would do it for your child. But if not for that, maybe you'll do it for Juliet. For Juliet? Are you kidding me? I know a way to help her. I don't believe anything you're saying. Do you think I would risk coming here if I didn't have anything? Look, I'm not making any promises, and you have to understand that there's no way to cure her completely. Well, then what's the point of this? Because there is a way to suppress the hex and beast in her. But she'll still be one, so what good does suppressing it do? Well, a lot, if it works. If it works? Yeah, I've heard that before. What kind of side effects this time? This isn't about changing her. This is so that she can live a normal, if that's what you want, life. We've been through the book that you use. There's nothing about what you're saying. It's not in the book specifically. My mother's aunt told me about this when my mother was going through a very tough time. She didn't end up doing it, but there is a way. It's not easy, and there is one ingredient that's almost impossible to get. What is it? Dead hex and beast. That shouldn't be too hard to get. Not me. It can't be fresh. Besides, if anything happens to me, you'll be stuck with Juliet the way she is forever. Now, if you're good with that, then fine. But it just so happens that I know where a dead hex and beast is buried. That would be my mother. Your mother killed her, remember? And you've slept with her. Right, well, as long as we're digging up the past, we may as well dig up your mother. What else do you need? Rosalie's help. And I need you to convince her. Because I can't do that alone. <laughs> He's kicking. Wow. A lot. It's a boy. I wanted to know. Still kicking. You should feel this, Nick. He's yours. Whether you accept this child or not, that'll never change. You all act like I'm responsible for everything, but 
I only did what I did to you because you took my child from me. He's strong. Like you. person who can stop me. I'll take you to Rosalie, but I don't know if she'll help. I honestly don't think this could get any more complicated. This was a big shock to me, too. It, it never even occurred to me that something like this could... It happened. So it's true. You really are going to have a baby. Well, congratulations. I should have finished you off when I had the chance. Keep her away from me, Nick. Don't you two make a cute couple? Juliet, you know how this happened. I sure do. Adeline told me it was a real whopper. Juliet, listen to me. I came here because I have a way of helping you. I've had enough of your help. Nothing's gonna happen here. I'm sorry, Juliet, but you have to leave. Really, Nick? That's what I have to do? Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip this little bitch's throat out. You are in a police station. I am in hell, Nick, and it is time she went there with me. No matter what you think about her, child is innocent. You mean your child? Juliet? No child of hers is innocent. Don't. You're choosing her over me. That is not what I'm doing. Then get out of my way. Hey. Everything okay here, Nick? Yeah. We're just working something out. We're not working anything out. She needs to leave. She's right. I do need to leave. Catch up later. Hey, Nick. Hey, Rosalie. Oh, my God. I won't be the last. I thought you never wanted. Oh, my God. Again? Nice to see you, too, Rosalie. Who's the sperm donor this time? It happened when she was Juliet. I think I. I, I, I might explode. Does Juliet know? Yes. Well, you have a surprise coming. She's a hex and beast. I know. Look, I am well aware of your help in kidnapping Diana, so nobody's perfect. Look, if Adeline knows how to help Juliet, then we have to help her do it. Or at least I have to help do it. Or you may just never want to see me again. Nick, that's my mother's book. Do you have the hat? Yes. I don't know. He needs my mother. I thought your mother was dead. Well, she couldn't help if she was alive. Can you do this? There's even the slightest chance it will help Juliet? Yes, because I have nothing. Hank, I know this is probably not a great time. The captain told me why Adlin was here. You all right? Pretty far from that. Yeah, well, another body was found off the same highway half a mile south from where we found our first pick. I can meet you there. 